in this lecture we will talk about the increased lymph flow is a safety factor to prevent edema this lecture is basically part of or continuation of the lecture about safety factors that normally prevent edema we have discussed in detail the low compliance of interstitium in negative interstitial fluid pressure range is a safety factor to prevent edema this was the first safety factor in preventing the edema and this has been discussed in detail in the pre previous two to three lectures that the low compliance of the interstitium especially when the interstitial fluid pressure is in the negative zone its low compliance basically helps in preventing edema this thing was discussed in detail now we are going to discuss the second factor which is the ability of lymph flow to increase 10 to 50 fold or its ability or ability of the lymph flow or the increased lymph flow is a safety factor now we know that the heart fact the heart is basically pumping the blood the heart is pumping the blood and the deoxygenated blood initially is pumped into the lungs where it gets oxygenated the oxygenated blood returns to the heart to the left side of the heart then the left side of the heart is pumping the blood through the aorta arteries arterioles finally at the level of the capillaries filtration of plasma or fluid is going on and at this level the cells the cells that are basically making the different tissues and organs they receive the different uh, nutrients and they basically uh, give away the waste material which is collected with the help of capillaries and then comes through the veins to towards the heart now there are some forces there are some forces which are acting at this level to increase the filtration and then help in the absorption of the waste material now we have discussed in detail those forces and we have discussed that any disturbance in those forces can cause edema and these were basically the causes of edema which we discussed previously that increased capillary pressure decreased plasma protein increased capillary permeability or blockage of lymph rhythm these were the broad categories or these were the problems which could lead to excess accumulation of fluid in the interstitium which we call as edema excess accumulation of fluid in the interstitium now there is one more thing that there are some particles in the interstitium like like large proteins or fat molecules the small molecules have been shown in the pink and the blue color but the large protein and fat particles have been shown in this purple color these particles and some fluid normally cannot be carried with the uh, blood vessels or can they cannot enter the capillaries so they remain in the interstitium to help these particles or to help extra fluid to return to the heart there are some vessels known as the lymphatic vessels so these brown color vessels have been shown they are the lymphatic vessels and they are taking these particles towards the circulation and they are helping in increasing the return of the fluid towards the heart and they also basically are preventing edema now the increased lymph flow or the ability of the lymph flow to increase 10 to 50 times 10 to 50 times of the normal is a safety factor it is a safety factor to prevent edema how it behaves or how it acts as a safety factor when there is excess fluid accumulation if due to any problem due to any problem suppose due to increased capillary pressure or uh, suppose due to decreased plasma protein or increased capillary permeability or blockage now we cannot consider blockage of the lymph uh, return because it normally it is acting as a carrier so if we consider these problem if edema or excess accumulation of fluid occur in the interstitium then the lymph uh, lymphatic vessel of course edema can occur due to blockage of these, these vessels as well then they will not be helpful but in normal circumstances if any disturbance occur in those forces which are basically causing the filtration of fluid or plasma into the interstitium then these lymphatics become very much active the the, the lymph flow increases 10 to 50 times and this increased lymph flow this increased lymph flow is a safety factor to prevent edema and this safety factor is about 7 mm of mercury as we previously discussed that the the first safety factor the low compliance of the interstitium it was around 3 mm of mercury that especially when the interstitial uh, fluid pressure increases more than 3 mm of mercury then this factor basically cannot behave as a safety factor but if the increase in interstitial fluid pressure is 0 to 3 millimeter of mercury then this factor basically behaves as a safety factor similarly this increased lymph flow can basically decrease or it can basically compensate an increase of up to 7 mm of mercury so the ability or the safety of this factor is around 7 millimeter of mercury so that's all about the increased lymph flow is a safety factor to prevent edema